name is Sun Young Warren, and I've been painting and teaching how to use watercolor for many years. Today, I will demonstrate how to use very simple steps to create a complex image, glass and cherries on the wooden box. The process will show you how to create rich and vibrant colors by layering, how to control the water and colors, and how to best use your tools. I used to um, soak my paper and um, kind of stretch my paper on a board using a staple and tape, but I no longer do that anymore because it takes a longer time and I just don't like how to uh, taking that staple off from the board. So what I do is I use this masking tape, regular res masking tape, and cut at the same length and I roll it to make a double tape. Because making this double tape, this masking tape, is strong enough to hold the paper, but it's not weak, so it will pop out. So I, I already made this all, all the way around, and I'm going to make another one on top. And put all the way corner like this, and you will flip over, and you attach this one to board. And this way, actually, it seals the edge of uh, water seeping into underneath your paper, so it has less buckly. This is the first step that I start painting a color on it. And I usually wash my whole paper with uh, clean water. And sometimes, mostly, I use yellow and sometimes red but I start with the uh, yellow. Um, this way, actually, what I do is, um, I save all my highlight with uh, my frisket, but this process will eliminate all my white. And the process is gonna be much quicker and easier on paper when you use this big hake brush. So you don't have to go back and forth with so many time on your paper surface. Okay, make sure you have every corner and wet. And this is the time actually I make myself intentionally go a little crazy so I can fix stuff later. And this is Aurelian that I applied and this is gonna be my red. I wanted to spray a little bit more before I apply this red into it. And there's some here. And I want to do this one at one process. I have lots of red, so why not? Two, go for it. This area, I have a little bit of uh, bluish, cerulean blue, or it's kind of lighter bluish and greenish or some reddish. And this area don't have much color, so this is the time I actually have used my own imagination or have fun. So I use leftover um, permanent rose here and there, and I will use some green hooker screen. I will use some hooker screen right now. And time to time, I will actually blend it because I don't want to have this hard edge to left out on the middle of nowhere. So I will just kind of blend this one out. If you look at it, I'm just touching edge of the, this area and edge of this tip of a brush to just kind of blend edge out. So I'm not taking color out from the paper. I'm just leaving it, but just kind of blending edge off from the application. And I'm going to use the cerulean blue. And this one will go on to uh, bring on most of the glass. And this one doesn't have um, like what you should, what you should not. Only one thing you don't want to do is apply 
thick, very strong color because this is a lighter color area of your glass. If you don't do this one, your um, glass is going to have just a simple, uh, very simple, not that interesting color. This is a time actually you have a chance to apply all sorts of different color you like. I'm creating a little purplish tone and I will just go fill it up. I will go a little redder. And this darker. And instead of filling it up, this shadow all the way, I will blend some edgy with a different little redder tone, so a little easier on it, kind of not too harsh. Okay, that's better. And I will do this again. And I will add permanent rose onto the end of the shadow area. It's kind of create a little bit gentler shadow instead of a too harsh. And when I do this one, I'm, um, I was talking, make sure this area dries out. And if I have anybody talk about how can I make a straight line, if I use my brush holding on to this top, I cannot create my line straight because of my, uh, my hand shakes. So always anchor my hands onto the, my paper. Sometimes I can actually use some paper and I anchor my uh, hands to it. Then I can actually straight like uh, create line with more, how should I say, assertive line, more definite line and your line can be clean and you can actually point it exactly how you want to go. But otherwise, my handshake, I cannot create this sharp line. So I always look for how to anchor my hands. So this is the time actually I can decorate my uh, line. And when I, I do this one, when I'm doing a uh, frisky line, and I can actually create my, I call it doodle. And I just doodle all the time. 